Okay, we go. Hello, Billy. Mark Stretch is here. So I have been tagged on the uh, exotic pet challenge by Alan Hicking, the Spider-Man. Um, he has challenged me to talk about one of my exotic pets. Now, when he tagged me, he said, all I have is tarantulas. That is true. But I do have one other exotic pet that I will be doing this tarantula tag on. And that is going to be my Taylor Swift Scorpion. So yes, um, which doesn't mean I won't be getting something different at the BTS because uh, yeah, I do agree it's uh, cool to have a few different exotic pets in the collection. But for the transfer tag, I'll be doing my Taylor Swift Scorpion. So let's get underway with the questions. Okay, so question one. Favourite thing about Taylor Swift Scorpion? Now, well, my favourite thing about Taylor Swift Scorpion is it's quite obvious actually. It's um, I think everyone will agree. It's how weird they look. It's like an alien. It's like something from another world. Um, when you see the way they they grab their prey as well, I mean the bodies are very small, but they've got these long arms that, that come out, and the way they do it very slowly, and they just grab the prey. They're actually really quick as well, but at the same time, the way they just slowly bring the arms out um, it is very alien-like. If you can get good footage of a Taylor Swift scorpion, then you will see what I mean how bizarre looking they are and that is my favourite thing about the Taylor Swift Scorpion. So question two is how many Taylor Swift Scorpions do I own? Just the one obviously. Um, yeah, just just one Taylor Swift Scorpion. So, um, so question three is show a Taylor Swift Scorpion. Now I very rarely get the Taylor Swift Scorpion out but I'm gonna do it just for this um, exotic tag challenge. These are very shy in the light, which is why it's hard to film them. The last time I filmed my Taylor Swift Scorpion, I put the night vision on, and you could see very nice footage, because obviously the lights were off. But we're gonna try and get her out. And I can show you a little close up of the uh, of the Taylor Swift Scorpion. So as you can see there, she's actually being really calm at the moment. Uh, and the light is shining bright on her. I don't wish she would have bolted by now, but yeah. There she is right there, guys. And you can see what I mean by the alien-like look of her. They do grow bigger than this. Like I say, the body size is much smaller, but you see these um, these are actually legs right here. These are modified legs made into like uh, feelers. So they do actually have so they do actually have eight legs, but the first pair have been modified. And when you see them hunting, uh, you do see these these feeler-like legs moving around, scanning the area. And when they hunt, they, uh, they can move very quick. Yeah, so she wants to sort of get away from the uh, from the light now. So yeah, we'll put her back now because I think she's getting a little bit stressed out, but. That is the bizarre Taylor Swift Scorpion right there. So question four is, name a YouTuber that you'd like to see own a Taylor Swift Scorpion. Um, I'd say probably Daniel Oakley, Trencher Den, because he does have a lot of exotic pets. 
Um, one of his recent ones is the Leech, which is very fascinating. But I've never actually seen him own a tail flip scorpion, so yeah. I'd like Daniel Oakley to um, maybe purchase one at the BTS. So yeah, Daniel Oakley. So question five is recommend uh, a seller. I think um, everyone who's answered this question generally say the same the same sellers. You've got the Spider Shop UK, uh, they sell all sorts of different invertebrates and Bugs UK as well. It's all the same people. Um, definitely recommend them as well. So yeah, they're probably my um, the two I go to if I want to buy something a little bit different. The Spider Shop UK and Bugs UK. So question six is if I could own any other Talisman scorpion species, what would it be? Uh, to be honest, they all look very similar. It's not like tarantulas where you could, where you can have a variety of species of tarantulas, all different sizes, colours. I think it really works with this on um, Talus Whip Scorpions. Maybe get more and try communal out because uh, yeah, they live communally in groups very successfully. That'd be pretty cool. Um, or get like uh, something else which is very similar to a Talus Whip Scorpion, um, which is the Vinegaroon. I uh, definitely would like to experience only in a Vinegaroon. So that brings me on to question seven, my biggest mistake of owning a Taz with Scorpion. Um, so I've not had this for too long, and so far it's been quite straightforward. It's just been in this arboreal setup now. Um, I will have to change this setup very soon, otherwise my, f my mistake will be my first mistake. As they mould out, they do like to hang upside down, and with a long feeler like legs, they need a lot of space to molt successfully. That would be the only thing I'd say um, you could make a mistake on, or I could make a mistake on if I don't change the talus of the scorpion out of a, into, a, into a different enclosure pretty soon. So before I make any mistake, that's what I would do. But as far as that, I've not made no mistakes yet. Um, so yeah, question eight. Are Tower Swift Scorpions suitable for beginners? Definitely, yeah. Um, they're not aggressive in any way. They're not venomous in any way. They don't bite. They can be a little bit skittish at times. They can move fast. They can even look scary. But other than that, definitely uh, recommend them for the beginners. Yeah, like I said, they just don't like light. So be prepared to something that doesn't show itself very much. So question nine is challenge another YouTuber about one of their exotic pets. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to Daniel Oakley on this one and I'm gonna, tra um, and I'm gonna challenge Tranchula Dan. And after watching his recent video, he was holding his leech and, well yeah, something quite new that's entered the uh, the hobby recently. I first saw these leeches for sale in last year's BTS and I was looking at them but I was thinking why would you want to own a leech? Um, so yeah my question, my challenge, I want to know more about leeches um, and Daniel Oakley you're the man who's got the leech so yeah so I challenged Daniel Oakley about, one of, uh, about his leech that he owns. So question 10 is ask that YouTuber a question. So my question to you Daniel is, um, yeah, what made you get a leech? Apart from it being different. And last of all, uh, I have to answer Alan Hicken's question. And Alan says what got me in when did I get into tarantulas? I've always been into uh, creeper crawlies, bugs, spiders, anyway as a kid. And when I was a kid, I always said to myself, one day I'll own a tarantula. And I did get a tarantula when I was 16. So yeah, um, that's when I got my first tarantula and I've always been into tarantulas and creeper crawlies. 
So yeah, that was my um, exotic pet challenge take. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys at the BTS. Uh, if you see me at the BTS, come and say hello. You'll probably see me wandering around my camcorder. Especially when the queue is long, I like to uh, go down the queue and video the queue. So yeah, if you see me, stick your hand out, give me a high five. So yeah, see you all soon guys. Hope you like this video. Remember to like, comment and subscribe.